original office. Had the ability to change verdicts in the heavenlies and in the earth realm. The sowing was more to it than you know. It was for him to subdue the earth. Because remember, a part of the blessing was to subdue the earth. Why would he have to subdue the earth? Because the earth was infiltrated with Satan and certain demons. He had to bring the earth into being subdued because of the presence of demon spirits that was cast down to the earth. We find that out in Revelation that Satan was cast down to the earth. So the seed was to bring the earth back into its proper place. There was a reason why darkness was on the earth and the spirit of God was hovering on the face of the deep because even the earth needed to be restored before man needed restoration. Before man needed restoration, the earth needed restoration. The earth needed to be restored back to salvation, to being delivered because it was darkness God said, let there be light. Because now he's recovering the earth. Corruption is the presence of something that's not supposed to be there. The same way the earth received its corruption in the atmosphere because Satan was demoted and Satan was now occupying the earth. So the seed is a subduing weapon. It subdues the darkness that Satan is attempting to corrupt your life with. The darkness of lack, the darkness of poverty, the darkness of sickness. The seed will heal you from sickness in your body. You can sow to target a certain disease in your body. Sowing is miracle medicine. The seed is miracle medicine. Because if I honor God, I remove everything that could be functioning in my body, soul, and spirit from dishonor. I can name my seed that it would bring a harvest of healing and I'll receive that healing as a harvest. Even when you fasting, the Bible said, go give your bread to the poor. It's telling you while you're fasting, don't think that fasting is a spiritual weapon by itself. It needs sowing to be complete. Isaiah 58. Wow. Isaiah 58 is revealing that when you sow, you have to, when you fast, you can't even acquaint that spiritual weapon as if it is complete within itself. You have to accompany that spiritual weapon with the seed. You got to go sow. Sowing is the original way to worship God properly. It's how you flirt with God properly. The seed is how you intercede about any circumstance and bring a change and a shift. People, their life can be so much further ahead if they learn how to name their seed before God. Tell the Lord, Lord, this something right here that I know that you, in your word, you have a better result. So I choose your better result. And as I sow this seed, I name this seed. Father, I'm having this heart issue. 
but I'm sowing right now. I honor you and I receive healing from this heart issue. And I praise you and I patiently wait for you, Lord. But I receive the manifestation of this healing. Don't do that. Put your pacifier in your mouth. Put your pacifier in your mouth. Put your pacifier in your mouth. <laughs> we better laughing, huh? We better laughing. God knew what he was doing when he created a pacifier. It's prophetical. From the, from the youth all the way up to the truth. Pacify, shut you up. That's a word. <laughs> one, one day I felt like being sarcastic. There was a lady up there. She was mean in the store. I said, lady, you just mad that you ain't got your pacifier. She said, what? I was gone by the time she went go argue. She cut in finish it. I right. I'm not going to, I'm not paid to teach you what I just meant. I'm not being paid, so I'm not going to explain myself. I'm not saying it again. You heard what I said, Cletus. Angry. I think they call it Chase Bank because you got to chase your I think I heard Dr. Verlock told me that one time. That you got to chase your money. You got to chase your money. The seed heals sicknesses. If you got a sickness in your body, so to get that sickness removed and use the law of honor in the courts of heaven to validify why something that can produce by dishonor could be removed, which is the sickness and disease. 